Hi, I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and today we're here to talk about compaction. What is compaction, how to solve it, and what it really does to your lawn. So let's check it out. Now this area here is very compacted, and what compaction means is that the soil is very hard and it's difficult for the roots to grow through. And compaction can be from heavy traffic, um, thin areas, the, and the rain can compact it, or the soil not being prepped correctly. As it gives your lawn a very thin look. Here's, here's a couple good signs um, in here that the lawn is compacted and it's these yellowing grass blades. A lot of stress throughout the lawn. And the second good indicator here is that the grass blades are growing sideways. Here's a really good sign right here. And the grass blades are growing more sideways instead for up. Here's another good sign that the soil is compacted. I should be able to get most of this in the soil pretty easily, uh, at least half of it. So let's see how it goes. So it's not so easy, as you can see. Yeah. Okay. So that's about it. That's not too bad. But uh, yeah, it, it wasn't an easy fight. Um, I had a battle just to get that much. So the roots are having a very tough time growing through the hard soil. And St. Augustine grass mimics its roots. Longer roots, longer grass. Let's see the main reason why the grass doesn't look so good. Let's check out the root system. So here's the root system. As you can see, kind of dark. It's okay, uh, a little bit of root hairs, but overall not that great. Here's an area of the lawn that's not compacted. As you can see, a lot thicker, much more color, overall better looking turf. Let's take the soil meter that we have into this area. Still a little tough, but not nearly as bad. Uh, seems like, okay, so we got a lot more out of that, as you can see. And also, you can see our wonderful Florida soil here. Oh wait, did I say soil? I meant sand. Now let's compare roots in the non-compacted area. Here we're comparing the difference of the compacted soil and the non-compacted. Here is the compacted. As you can see, the roots are okay, not really that great, very shallow and short and same with the top. Now here we have the area that's not compacted and look at these roots. Over twice as long. Look how white they are and long. Look at that. That's probably over an, that's about an eight inch root and look how much healthier those look. And same thing, the St. Augustine grass represents the top. Here's why a compacted area does not look nearly as good. It has half the roots to pick up half the amount of nutrients. St. Augustine grass will always represent its roots. Now let's go over a solution. Couple things you can do about compaction, it's a soil-based issue. Two, two big things I can recommend, this first one is aerations. This is the time you need an aeration. One aeration will not do. Continuous aerations, maybe two to three a year. Um, two a year is pretty ideal for a couple years to really loosen up the soil. And as well, after you can top dress with sand or topsoil to help that area loosen up. Second, there's some soil amendments on the market um, that are supposed to help loosen the soil. And as well as potassium is fertilizer focused for the root system. It will help establish the roots of any type of grass or plant that you use. So heavy soil amendments, aeration, and potassium will really help focus and get that root growth. That's what you want. Um, the better the base of the root, the better the St. Augustine grass. Thank you very much. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite.